Kira Mulvaney for HBO Boxing. I am here with Daniel, the Miracle Man Jacobs. Daniel, last time we saw you, uh, your opponent Luis Arias talked a good fight. When he got in the ring, he didn't seem he was that interested in engaging. Are you expecting much better from Machet Tuleki on Saturday? Absolutely. And uh, this fight is a mandatory for the WBA, too. They just announced it. So oh. we both understand the opportunity at hand, and I'm sure he's going to bring his best game because, you know, the Polish guys bring in pain. They do, and I'm pretty sure uh, he's going to go for all the glory come Saturday night. He looks like the kind of guy who likes to stand in front of his opponent, fire fast combinations. When you look at that, does that make you think, well, I'm going to circle around him, keep my range? Or do you look at him and think, you know what, you want to fight? Let's fight. Uh, it depends on how I feel inside the ring. Uh, like Floyd Mayweather once said, a true fighter can always adjust. So I'm looking forward to filling him out. And uh, if he can't take my power, it's going to be an early night for him. We saw a great interview with you and Andre Ward on the fight game recently. Um, you talked at great length about a lot of different issues. How important is it for you, for fans to see you, not just as the fighter, not just as the guy in the ring, but as this great eloquent guy, as this great representative? Well, it's important because the sport has a bad rep in general. So I just feel like we need to change the stereotypes. Um, there are guys are, who stand for a lot outside the ring, such as myself. And I think um, with the amazing story that I have with battling cancer, it brings a lot of hope and you know, a lot of inspiration to so many people throughout the world. But it's ultimately how you remain professional and carry yourself outside the ring. And that's why I stay true to myself and being uh, a true professional. And I think that's kind of reflected in your whole team. You know, your trainer, Andre Rozier, he's not the kind of guy who goes out and talks a lot, gets a lot of attention. Yeah. But obviously, you guys are tight. He works well for you. He works well for Saddam Ali. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Andre and, and what he means to you and, and what you'd like people to know about him. Well, I'm a big reflection of Andre, uh, how he carries himself outside the ring from the way he talks, everything. I mean, he's like a, a father figure of mine, and uh, I'm proud to have him in my corner. But that's exactly how we carry ourselves as true professionals, as gentlemen of the sport. And when we're inside that ring, we're a totally different person, as it should be.